Before we begin, I must say that currently none of my videos are sponsored by Seachem or any other products I mention. They are mentioned because they are good products and many frog keepers and aquarium hobbyists use them. Let us begin. Hello again and thank you for coming back to see another video. We have discussed a lot about African clawed frog ownership. Let's cover some of the details that were not discussed in the previous two videos now that you have your tank set up. After buying and setting up your tank for the first time, let it run for about two to four weeks. Most recommend running the tank a full month to prevent the cloudiness known as new tank syndrome. Dose the tank daily with a water conditioner and bacteria booster alternating doses each day. If you have another tank running and the water is healthy, add some of the water and even some of the sludge from the established filter into the new tank's filter. I know what you're thinking. Ew, why? Well, the reason for this is that the water and sludge from a well-established tank has a lot of beneficial bacteria colonies already established and working. This can only be done after the water has been treated with water conditioner as the chloramines may kill the bacteria, so wait at least 24 hours after your first dosage of water conditioner. This gives the conditioner some time to run through your entire system several times. When you are ready to add frogs, add them gradually. If you are housing multiple frogs, make sure that the tank you're running allows for 10 gallons of water per frog. The reason why you should add your inhabitants gradually is because of what is called new tank syndrome. What is new tank syndrome? Well, glad you asked. When you add new inhabitants to your tank, as time passes, ammonia may also rise because of uneaten food left in the tank. Dead food particles of partially eaten live foods and dying plant matter if your tank has live plants. When this happens, you may not have enough bacteria in your tank to combat the spike. Therefore, it is important to frequently test your water and dose it with water conditioner to neutralize the ammonia while the cycle is working through. It is not recommended to change any of the water while your tank is cycling. Ammonia, as well as its byproduct nitrite, is harmful to your frogs. Nitrite comes from the waste the nitrosomonas bacteria produces. The nitrite gets processed through the nitrobacter bacteria and becomes nitrate. You will know the cycle is complete after you see there is no ammonia or nitrite and your nitrates may spike a little as the final byproduct. The nitrates get absorbed by the live plants that may be in the aquarium. After the cycle is over, when your nitrates are high, this means that a water change should occur. Depending on how high nitrates are, this can mean the difference between a 25% water change or a 35% water change if there is a normal nitrate high. Although small amounts of nitrate are not very harmful to your frogs, you wanna keep them below 60 parts per million. Toxicity can occur as the nitrates become higher than that number. Ideally, 44 parts per million is the magic number. Seachem Prime is a water conditioner that neutralizes the ammonia, nitrite, and nitrates in the tank. Another good product that serves the same purpose is Amquel Plus. Stability is a bacteria booster that will help with beneficial bacteria growth in the tank. 
I will warn you ahead of time that none of these treatments smell good. However, they are necessary to keep your frogs stress free. If you choose to populate your tank all at once, prepare yourself for the visual effects of new tank syndrome. The water in your tank gets cloudy. This is normal and it won't harm your frogs. There are some chemicals that will clear your tank's water. However, beware of those as they will cause you to have to change your media often. Most water clearing chemicals bind the bacteria and other particles to clear the water and turn your filter floss completely brown. It is always best to allow things to clear naturally, even though it may be unsightly for a week or so. If nitrates are above 40 parts per million, this is when a water change shall be performed to reduce the nitrates. If you get an ammonia spike, this can mean that there is a large amount of waste somewhere that is decomposing. Use a gravel vacuum to remove the debris while changing some of your water. Treat your tank with the proper dosage of water conditioner if the ammonia is really high. Feel free to double dose if you are using Prime or any other water conditioner that does not run the risk of overdosing your tank. Keep your aquarium away from windows. It may look pretty, but not for long, as you may cause a green cloud of algae. This kind of cloudiness is cumbersome to clean, and direct sunlight is not good for your frogs. It's important to know and understand your nitrogen cycle. Check out your social media groups files, as they have very useful information on how to better understand the nitrogen cycle. I will include the link to the image used in this video in the description to help you remember how the nitrogen cycle works. Thanks for watching. For more pictures and videos of our frogs, feel free to visit our Instagram. Have a frogtastic day.